You are looking at a former congressman and a senator who voted, not only voted against NAFTA, walked the picket lines with union workers to see that... <laughs> voted against CAFTA, voted against permanent normal trade relations with China, strongly opposed the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And why did I oppose all of these disastrous trade agreements? It was very clear to me that these agreements on the Democratic and Republican leadership was written by multinational corporations to make these corporations even wealthier at the expense of the American worker. So let me suggest what is not a radical idea. American workers should not have to compete against desperate people around the world who are making a dollar or two dollars an hour. Now, I think, I think we have a moral responsibility to lift up poor people around the world along with the rest of the wealthy countries. But you can do that without engaging in a race to the bottom. I don't want, I have heard, you know, I have heard from, you know, I've got a 100% lifetime pro-union voting work, and I'm very close to unions, and I talk to union workers, and they say, our boss has said, and if you don't take a pay cut, you don't take a cut in health care, we're going to move to Mexico, we're going to move to China, where people are prepared to work for almost nothing. So we need a trade is a good thing, but we need a trade policy that works for working families and not just for the large corporations.